Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the dynamic route matching. So that means if you want to go see the full details, so we have seen here post slash some unique ID we have seen, right? Now in this video, I will show you one problem in this dynamic route matching. Same as we have found in the Angular, the same the same thing we will be having here. So how to overcome this problem? We will see in in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here. Please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Okay. Now, if I try to go into this one, now this is the uh, post item, right? So, here what I will try to do is so before going here back to post, I am trying, I will try to open this one. So, what I will try to do is in that one only, I will have a routing to this post URL, okay, to this post data. So, here what I will try to do is do router link okay to slash post slash id okay go to post id something like this okay now if you try to see the output here so here we are able to get the link here now what i will try to do so here i will try to refresh and i will show here the details now if i click on this one i need to get those post details okay which is having the id of this post id the details i need to get if i click here what will happen see top the url has been changed but the details are not getting changed why because this is happening because the component which i need to load for this uh, route is also the same component which is having now here so that is the reason instead of loading this component so it is not able to load the component here so that is the reason so the same problem you will be having in the angular also so that is the reason we will be using that subscribe method for the params so that we will be we will be able to update the details in the same scenario here in order to overcome here there are different ways to up, different ways of approach in order to overcome this this thing so what first approach is what we can do is here we can use this dot okay this dot dollar watch okay so dollar watch what i need to watch here Okay, it will it will have two parameters. Okay, it will have two parameters. And that is first first parameter is it is also a function. So what is the parameter? What is the thing I need to watch is this dot dollar route dot params. So I need to watch this one. So if you have any object you want to follow, follow any uh, one one property, we need to use this one like this. So this is one uh, this is one parameter. And another parameter is also a function. So you will be getting params. Okay, you will be getting the params. So if I try to, this is also a method. Okay. If I try to console.log params here, let's try to see the output. Okay. Let's try to see the output here. So what is the output? We'll try to see. So what is I am doing here? So I am watching the data. What is that I am watching the data? First parameter is the, the data which I what I want to watch. It is also a function that this dot dollar out dot params. And the second argument is nothing but the params thing. So we will be getting the Params and also you will be getting another another parameter also previous params you will be able to get. So right now we are not using about the previous params, so that is the reason I am taking the params console.log params here. Now if I try to check the output here, let's go to the post. Okay, let's refresh this one. I got the details. Now here I will uh, now able to see the console. I clicked on this one. So watch watch didn't execute it for the first time. Now when I click here, see I am able to get the ID. So the root has been updated. So that is the reason I'm able to get the ID. Now what can I do? Instead of copying this all the code and duplicating the code, what I will try to do is I will try to create a methods prop methods. And here what I what I will do is get post details. And here what I can do is I can copy these all the details. Okay. And I can call it here this dot get post details. Okay, I can call directly and here before continuing what I can do is here I can paste it down so that now if I try to see the output here params is used but never okay. So what I can do is I can remove this params. Okay, so now if I go to the back, back to the post post here. So uh, first we will refresh. Okay, now I went to here. Now if I click here see the data is also changed. Okay, this is one way of approach. And another way of approach is what we can do is so let me comment over this one okay in order to you will be able to see when I come the code we can directly use the watch property 
in this watch property we will watch the route okay as this one is a this dot dollar route right so in the this dot it will be already present right so that is the reason i am watching this route okay and what i can do is this dot dollar route i can just call the this dot get post details i can call it here like this okay this is also one way console dot log if you want you can write watch called okay you can write like this also now if i see if i show you here okay so i need to be the gamma okay everything is correct oh watch it should not be like this it should be column okay now here if i go if i try to refresh if i go to post refresh it again now if i go to show details okay now if i click here see the, again the data has been changed this is a watch card here we got the watch card see this is also one way of approach how we can do so these are the two approaches of watch thing and we can a third approach is nothing but what we can do is and in another approach also we can do i will comment out this one in another approach also we can do what is that approach is using the props thing so in the main.js if you go to the main.js here is the thing where we are getting the dynamic route matching right here we can keep one item something like props true if you keep like this props true whatever the dynamic uh, paths we are having whatever the dynamic items we are having it will be passed as a route it will be passed as a props to this component so then what how can i use this so here I directly i can use the props command here and i can do the id okay i got the id right so i can do i can get the id and what i can do is here i can remove this id and here i will be watching that id okay i need to use this watch again and what i will try to do i need to watch the id okay i will be watching that id so we have whatever the props id we are having i will watch that id and here i will cut this dot get post details okay so this is one type this dot go and create it so this dot this dot id this dot dollar row dot so there is no need to this dot id why because in this dot id is nothing but it is passed as a props here now if you see here if you uh, try to console dot log props details okay now if i try to show you the output here so refresh and go to post okay, one time shall I, ref uh, if I refresh okay if i refresh this one yeah we got the data and here what i will try to do is so click on show details okay click on show details so what is the what is the data i am trying to get so here i am trying to get the data and if i click here see again the data child and here the props details is called okay so this is how we can move from one uh, we can move in the same component from one route to another in the same routing so if you want to do you need to use this type of uh, approach so any any approach is okay for you so any approach you can follow you can up, uh, you can approach the follow props true so like this props true and also you can approach you can approach the method like watch and also you can approach something like this dot dollar watch like this also you can watch so there i have to i have explained you three ways how we can approach the ways right okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you